Welcome to our lecture online. Now knowing how to integrate the cosine square of x can become very handy in the future as we're getting to integrate some more complicated integrals and especially when we try to do trigonom trigonometric substitution so this is always one of those cornerstones if you see the cosine square of x you say I know how to integrate that. The trick again is to find a proper substitution for the expression cosine square of x and it turns out the identity allows you to write this as one half times one plus the cosine of twice the angle. So if this is equal to that, let's go ahead and replace the cosine squared of x by its identity. So this is now equal to the integral of one half times one plus the cosine of two x times the x. And then you realize that the one half is a constant that can come outside the integral sign and then we have the sum of two functions so we can split that up into two separate integrals. So this becomes one half times the first integral would be the integral of one times dx which is simply dx plus the second integral which is the cosine of 2x times dx. So the cosine of 2x times dx. Now in order to integrate this we're going to need the proper differential. We need a 2dx and so what we need to do here is we need to multiply this by 1 half and multiply this times 2. So now we have a proper differential of 2 to x which is the differential of the, of the angle 2x and let's compensate by putting a 1 half in front. And let's close the bracket. There. Now we're ready to integrate both of these integrals. This becomes equal to 1 half times the first integral is simply x plus 1 half times the integral of the cosine would be the sine and of course it would be the sine of 2x so 1 half times the sine of 2x plus we need a constant of integration. This constant is the sum of the constants of the two integrals and you just say plus c. Now we can put the 1 half back in and so this becomes equal to 1 half x plus 1 quarter the sine of 2x plus a constant of integration which is the result of the integral of the cosine square of x dx and that's how it's done.